Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors Wilderness Medicine, where we talk about how to prepare for the woods and the waters. If you get injured, how do you treat yourself? Uh, how to prepare so you don't get hurt. We also do some gear reviews. We talk about critters and bugs and ticks and you name it. Coming up, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to do some psychology in the outdoors on our next video. So be prepared for that. Today, we're going to be talking about, it's seasonal, box elder bugs. Questions arise frequently. I get asked, do box elder bugs bite? And let me tell you, we got plenty of them. And these little, they got, well, let me see if I can get this. There we go. Black bugs, they have a little red V. That's because their wings are closed on top of them. And on their mouth, they have a proboscis, which is a very similar to mosquitoes and ticks. And so box elder trees, ash trees, maple trees, the leaves and stems, they use that to suck the sugary sap from it. And then in the fall, they just absolutely swarm. There's literally thousands out here in northern Illinois. So these guys, do they bite? They can bite. It's very rare. And when they do bite, they may leave a little red dot. And I have never, I've been bitten by them. And they leave um, this little red dot. But I have never had a histamine reaction where it gets itchy or red. Here's two more. Um, and... People are just concerned that, oh my gosh, these things will they bite me. So if you're out camping in the fall, which is a great time to go, don't freak out over these guys. They're not going to hurt you. If you smash them, they do have an odor similar to coriander, similar to a stink bug. So not a big deal. Do they bite? Yeah, very rare. I have never personally have never had a histamine reaction from the bite. If you like this kind of stuff, learn about bugs and critters in the outdoors and getting hurt and wilderness medicine, think about subscribing. And I'll be glad when the mosquitoes are gone. All right, guys, keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind. We'll see you next time.